Hello and welcome to Easy Does It. Remember to check below for links, details, and the great people I subscribe to on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up RetroPie version 4.4 to play a video as a splash screen. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to download and install your own splash videos and where to find some splash videos that are already available on the internet. So let's get started. We're going to need to modify three areas using Secure Shell. The three areas are config dot txt, command line dot txt, and a splash screen dot sh. I'm going to use Nano, a text editor, to make these modifications. Now there are other text editors out there, and in fact, I actually started off on LeafPad. We're now going to modify boot config dot txt. Type sudo nano boot config dot txt. This will open up the config text file in the nano text editor. We're now going to scroll down to the bottom. You'll notice that I've put any comments of my own with a hash in front of it. Type disable underscore splash equals one. Press Ctrl X to exit and Y to save the changes. We will now move on to modify command line.txt. This will allow you to have a video splash without a Plymouth splash. Type sudo nano boot command line.txt. Next, scroll over to console and change it to tty3. This will hide some of the boot messages. We're going to scroll to the end and add logo, no logo, which will suppress the bootberry logo, quiet, which hides the message, and VT global cursor default, which hides the blinking cursor. You just want to check log level is 3 and Plymouth enable equals 0. Note, everything has to be on the single line. You cannot hit a carriage return. We are now going to move on to the last section to modify a splash.sh. Type sudo nano opt retropie supplementary splash screen a splash screen.sh. Scroll down and find the line that begins with omx player. We're going to remove the dash o both and dash b. The O was indicative of the output to both and the, and the B sets the background color to black. This will prevent the OMX player from crashing during startup. When you reboot now, your splash videos should work perfectly. Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe. And be sure to catch my next video. Thank you.